Meghan Markle has been warned against exaggerating her life stories as it could threaten her public image. Royal commentator Kinsey Schofield claimed the Duchess of Sussex had been caught up in a series of inconsistencies after posts shared on her now-closed social media resurfaced. Speaking to Express.co.uk, Schofield said, Meghan's words are coming back to bite her, I think because she also exaggerated her life. And she exaggerates her life today. I don't think she's learned a lesson, everything is extreme when it comes to Meghan Markle. It's either love or hate. She exaggerates things like when she says that her father would take her to dance class every weekend and then they would go to these expensive delis in Beverly Hills. Well, you're telling Congress that your family could only afford the $4. 99 salad bar at the Sizzler. In 2021, the Duchess of Sussex wrote to Congress in an effort to lobby them into passing legislation guaranteeing equal parental leave to U.S. workers. Kate's Commonwealth outfit could be subtle swipe at Meghan as designer caused tensions she wrote, I grew up on the $4. 99 salad bar at Sizzler, it may have cost less back then, to be honest, I can't remember, but what I do remember was the feeling. I know how hard my parents worked to afford this because even at 5 bucks, eating out was something special. However, in a post on her now deleted Instagram account, the Duchess described visiting Musso and Frank Grill in Hollywood after dance classes. The restaurant, where entrees start at $27. Oh oh, has hosted celebrities such as Johnny Depp, Brad Pitt, and George Clooney. The to for Daily host added, You just talked about your dad taking you to dance class every weekend and going to these Beverly Hills delis and it's the complete opposite of not being to afford something beyond the $4. 99 salad bar. Schofield went on to claim, they're just something about the way she communicates, it's always one extreme or the other, and when you communicate in that way it's easier to catch people in a contradiction. Harry and Meghan enter uncharted territory as fellow celebrities laugh at couple Schofield had previously told Express. Co.uk that regardless of the negativity the resurfacing of her posts caused, the Duchess of Sussex might soon be relaunching her personal blog. Meghan shut down the TIG in April 2017, just months before Prince Harry popped the question and she officially became a member of the royal family. Her business manager renewed the trademark for the blog last year, and Schofield argued the backlash Meghan faced following the release of her Netflix documentary could push her into focusing on a project she can control entirely. She said, I think she's working on relaunching the TIG because that is the only thing that Meghan has had her fingertips on from start to finish that she could control wholly. Philip's response to Sussex's Oprah interview wouldn't be printable, in sight, Prince Harry declined to respond to invite to debate royal reporters, latest, Meghan and Prince Harry to use tidal olive branch to recover support, analysis, that was a success, and was a reflection of her capabilities and it was an independent success for Meghan. She was really proud of that but she controlled everything and she felt it was perfect, and the Duchess appears to have filed further documents with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office suggesting a return of the blog could be coming soon. The papers suggest the platform would focus on several topics such as recipes, travel, relationships, fashion, style, interior design, lifestyle, the arts, culture, design, conscious living, health and wellness, 